Alrighty, greetings one and all. Welcome back to the uh, kitchen here today. Um, so yeah, as the title suggests, I'm going to be making some homemade pasta uh, with a nice carbonara sauce. Uh, very simple, traditional style. Traditional read, no cream. <laughs> um, and let's get on with making the pasta first and then we'll get to the, uh, the sauce on that later. So I'm just making a small amount of pasta, you can adjust the quantities and there's no getting around this, there's a bit of hard work uh, with pasta dough uh, kneading it, um, especially if I've got a pasta machine but I am gonna, just to start this off, use my little um, processor here so into that I'm just gonna put a cup of flour and that's plain flour, so um, Usually for pasta you use the double O pasta, the fancy stuff, but um, yeah, I'm just going to use plain flour and that's okay. Um, it's just a lot finer and more refined, the double O. I'm going to whiz this up a bit before I even add my eggs, which I'll whiz it up with a bit of salt. I've just got a pinch of salt. So that'll all mix in as well. And maybe that'll refine it a bit more. Let's soon find out. And it doesn't matter if it doesn't, I'm still doing it this way anyway. Yeah, so I've whisked that up a bit. I'm not real sure if it's any finer, probably not. Um, but anyway, at least that salt's thoroughly mixed through. So, like I said, I'm just going to start off my pasta in this processor, like mix the eggs in. But that's not going to make our pasta dough. I'm going to have to do it old school on the bench. But um, yeah, to start with, so for one cup of flour, I've got here one egg and the yolk of one egg. And that's going to go in. And I'm just going to add a little tiny bit, not too much olive oil, just a drip, like so. Alrighty, we'll give that a bit of a whiz up. Uh, it won't take long before my um, little tiny mixer here, processor, will seize up and then I'll have to get it out on the bench. you saw that's about as far as I can go with that doing it that way alrighty so I've just floured my bench there I'll just take out my uh, pasta dough what, what there is of it so far so pasta dough as you probably know is quite a dry mix dry mix means quite a bit of uh, work kneading it so we're talking that's a bit thick that flour I'll just spread it out a bit more I don't want to get too much flour in there more flour because it's already but it is still a little bit sticky so yeah just play it by you guys the main thing with this is to give it a good workout we're talking 10 minutes. Alrighty, so like, yeah, I've been kneading that away now for a good um, yeah, 10 minutes or so. And you sort of just get an indication that it's um, going alright too. It just gets really, you press it in, it just springs back into shape like that. So now we just need to rest that for about half an hour. Wrap it in some uh, cling film. Alrighty guys, so it's been um, half an hour. This pasta's been resting, pasta dough I should say. So um, yeah, and it just, it does become a bit more workable. You can see it's sort of flattening out now instead of bouncing out. Um, if you've got a pasta like a machine, obviously uh, this stage is going to be a lot easier but I'm doing it this way so we're just, I'm just using a roller pin uh, get plenty of flour on it we don't want it sticking and just get that flour up to it if you're doing it this way so it doesn't stick to the bench and yeah, 
We'll just roll all her out. So basically what we're aiming for is a roughly a big rectangles sort of shape. And with pasta, you can't have it thin enough. It's just got to be see-through, like tissue paper thin, if you can get it. Um, and when you think you've got it thin enough, keep rolling it out. Alrighty guys, so um, yeah, I've got this lot as thin as now, you can sort of um, just about see yourself through it. It's um, yeah, looking really good. So what I'm going to do now, is I'm just going to roll it up, like so, until about halfway. Start the other end, roll it up, and then put that on my cutting board. Have my plate there ready to go. I'll just use my knife there, and you just sort of cut it into sizes you want basically You've done that, unravel it, and yeah, just get them onto your plate there. Alrighty, guys. So normally um, carbonara traditionally is made with um, like cured uh, ham and usually uh, traditionally it's made with, um, I'm not quite sure of the pronunciation, it's gran granciali, which is kind of like, I've got a pancetta here and granciali I think is quite like a pancetta as well except I think it's got even more fat in it than this has got and fat's what we need. Um, yeah, you probably think I'm just going on, no, he always goes on about fat, but um, this fat that comes out when we fry it is actually an integral part of um, carbonara. It sort of helps give it that richness and all that. So I've got about 250 grams here of pancetta, which I'll cut up and dice and I'll start. Alrighty guys, just while my um, pancetta is frying away there, getting nice and golden and all that fat's rendering out into the pan, which is what we want. I just got on with making my, um, well basically the basis of the sauce of our carbonara. So I've got here two whole, just the egg yolks. Uh, I want to add a bit of, we're not going to add salt for this because we've got the pancetta and we're also going to be adding some parmesan in a minute. I've just got a bit of um, whole nutmeg and I'm going to grab a bit of that in. Just so much. Now plenty of parmesan into this. Dos. 
Alrighty guys, so yeah what I've got happening here is I've just got um, my water for my pasta coming to the boil here. Uh, it did actually boil but I've added salt to that, quite a lot of salt. Um, <laughs> the Italians say water for your pasta should be as salty as the Mediterranean Sea so mine's perhaps not quite that salty but yeah more salt than probably what you think. In this fry pan that you saw me cooking the uh, pancetta in I've just emptied most of the fat out and the pancetta but I've kept all that fat and pancetta and just put it aside for now it'll shortly be coming back in so what I'm going to do now is I've just got a little bit of a Australian twist I've got a few Australian pippies here a uh, little shellfish you find in the beaches in the sand so I'm just going to put those into my fry pan Just a slug of dry white wine, just a little bit. And I'll just put the lid on that just until they open up. Alrighty, now that pasta water is boiling away. I'll um, throw in my pasta, fresh pasta, and I'll just sort of try and, it's been sitting there on the bench for a little while, so I'll sort of try and break it up a little bit more, just to help stop it stick together as it goes in. That's the way. And Obviously this fresh pasta cooks really, really quickly. We're only looking at a minute or two. And the thing to remember to do is we keep a bit of that, before we drain it, we keep a bit of that pasta water and that's going to help thicken our uh, sauce. Alrighty. So, um, yeah, my um, pippies there have opened up. That couple that didn't open up, I discarded those. So I'm just going to reintroduce my pancetta fat and pieces of pancetta. And we'll just warm them through again. Alrighty, just one more little splash of white wine. I mean, just a splash. I'm just going to turn that heat off and I'm going to throw my pasta in there Toss that through a bit Alright guys, so yeah I've got that right off the heat now so yeah I've got my egg and cheese mixture here now all I did to it, because it's been sitting there for a bit, just to freshen up, is I just added like a little spoonful or two of that um, pasta water. And I'm just mixing that through. Just when you add that pasta water, obviously make sure it's um, cooled down a little bit too, otherwise it'll cook your egg. So next thing, We'll just tip that all over. And we'll toss that all through as well. We might even add a little bit more of our pasta water. Just a little bit.
Alrighty. Pretty happy with that. Um, yeah, I might just throw just a little bit of fresh parsley. Just for serving it up. Alrighty. I'll serve up a plate and get back to you. Alrighty guys, so I've served up a plate of my um, carbonara here. Um, let's try a bit. Can't wait to try this pasta. It's nice and creamy from that um, egg and cheese mix. Just check it out. Yum. Mmm. Mmm. Ah, oh, it's delicious. And the pasta is just right. It's a little tiny bit chewy. Mmm. Ah, oh, yum. <laughs> That's actually better than, <laughs> even better than what I was expecting. Um, yeah, so I've got my pippies there as well. Oh, um. Look, I'll finish off eating this. Um, the main star of this is the carbonara sauce. It is just delicious. That creamy, eggy, well, I say creamy with no cream. Um, but the egg, cheese, creaminess of the egg and the cheese, and that little bit of um, salty water. Oh my goodness. That's, a <laughs> that's an absolute winner. All right, guys, thanks for watching as always. I'll. Um, Sit down and finish this bowl of food off. Um, for those of you who subscribe to the channel, I really appreciate it. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, yeah, do us a favour, hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you don't want to, no worries. And I'll see you all next time.